really hitting on something because so many bands seem to reform, go out there, go on the circuit and redo it. And when you watch them, it's like, why is this happening? It's well, just cardboard was, cutouts. Yeah, some bands are either trying to relive their youth and go, you know, and to be honest, you know, we had a fantastic time then, but to be honest, I'm enjoying gigs more now than, than, I, than I did back then. Well, you can remember most of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but also then some bands, you know, for some stupid reasons, occasionally reform because they think there might be some money in it. And, you know, there are some idiots who actually think there's money in the punk scene and we know there isn't any money in it anyway People work hard to keep um, money out of yeah, the punk scene yeah. so, you know, definitely so it is just insane that you know that those bands do it that way and we're just doing it because it's, it's fun to do you know we reformed for one gig we were asked to do one gig and we did it and then we just went this yeah, is 12, fun 12 years ago or so yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and and just now we're just enjoying doing it and meeting lots of old friends, meeting new friends, it's just, that's what it's about. Yeah, absolutely. It's about the scene, it's about that global scene. And, and and that's why it's better now than it was then, because then there wasn't that global scene. You know, it was very insular and different little scenes happening, but now there's this huge scene and we know people all over the world. It's amazing. I've, I've said that it's like, it's very much community based, you know, it's very, you know, like people who get into punk and, and, and get really involved in it and get involved in, in putting shows on and setting up spaces and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a hub, you know, for, for, it can be for activism or it can just be for release for all sorts of things. Yeah. Um, but it's like, I've, I've compared it to like, cause we played, you know, in quite far flung places or relatively far flung, um, but we've never left our community. You know, and you can travel all the way around the world and there's, there's like somewhere where you can be. It doesn't matter where we play, there's always somebody we know. And we, you know, you can, it doesn't matter what country and you'll see people from different countries that it's you know. It's usually Martin Einon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but I love that, you know what I mean? It doesn't yeah, matter where yeah, you go, you'll always yeah. see someone you fucking know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you guys have played all over the world and... I've heard or read things about you playing the weirdest place to me is as an a, a Yank who's been gone for a long time Minneapolis Minnesota <laughs> and, and you guys seem to have had just this kind of coming together with Minneapolis really? what happened there well, at least know. that's what I've read really? I don't know it was I don't know well that was it was of, a fun gig then. yeah that was to do with the label wasn't it know. We, 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 we were only in Minneapolis for literally a few hours. We drove up there from Chicago, I think. I think yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And we, 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 yeah, we played yeah. the gig and then we didn't go to sleep and then we literally threw, then flew from there down to Austin, Texas. So we were wow. we didn't, didn't get to see it at all, really. Yeah, but it was well, a good gig. Yeah. I'm told there's not much to see. I've no, never been there. We played in a great space called the Medusa. It was fucking great. A really good gig. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was a great... It, it was a really good space. It, yeah, it kind yeah. of had that kind of... Uh, kind of squatty vibe. Yeah. I don't think it was, it but squat, yeah. I think, no. no, no, it wasn't. The DIY, yeah, totally, yeah. let's get it done. Yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah. the mic was very DIY because that kept cutting out. Apart from that, it was <laughs> good. <laughs> we did have some good po boys in the triple rock. I seem to remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's all I remember. <laughs> but then literally, we had about an hour's sleep and then yeah. got a flight yeah. down to. And then you went down to uh, Texas. Did, did the, uh, it was a president at that time. There was the. It was Obama, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Then we had, yeah. to, we had to hang around yeah, yeah, our Obama, was delayed. because Obama yeah, so like, we, we had an hour's sleep and then, then we got to the airport and then we had to wait around the airport for two or three hours while Obama landed. Because yeah. <laughs> there were loads of security and they hassled yeah. us for a while. That special plane that yeah, nobody yeah. can get near. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we did see that. We saw Air Force, Air Force One Iron. and then all the fucking, <laughs> yeah, all the fucking motorcade came off it. Yeah. It was interesting. That would be interesting, I mean, actually. Like a connection because of that in Dallas. I remember, actually, I remember that. being in the airport, and there was there was was there some uh, like royal visit or something that I think the royal family was doing something. No, was it, there uh, was loads of stuff on the TV yeah. about the royal forthcoming wedding royal wedding. Yeah. That's it, yeah. And, and that was I, 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 I just like, those Americans love our royals. <laughs> so much more. Than I don't. <laughs> I remember in the eighties coming home from school. And my mother watching Diana and Charles getting married on TV. <laughs> but I mean, she was just sitting there. This was in the age before the internet. Just, oh my God, it's it's a prince getting it's married. A fairy tale. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and, and now it's like I'm living here and going, why? All these little leeches. Hello, God. 
Yeah, you got to wonder sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what's next with the band? Where are you guys heading? What are you doing next? Well, fucking, I don't know. We're not doing anything at the moment. Well, we've got uh, a new 12-inch coming out eventually. I'm not sure. Eventually? We recorded it last year. Um, so so that's, that's coming out um, sometime soon, hopefully. Is that Safra, our bass player, who's hiding over there? Him? You should, oh, you should, you should the guy him, back just there. Just because he's hiding. Yeah, he's, he's got to have a, a sh- uh, an operation on his shoulder because he got run over by a cyclist a while ago and it dislodged his he got shoulder. Knocked oh. off his skateboard by a cyclist. <laughs> <laughs> Cycling should be banned, it's dangerous. Anyway, yeah, so he's got to have an operation, so we're out of action for a few months, so uh, we're just going to sit around and fucking, I don't know. Well, we're hopefully write, yeah, we're gonna hopefully write, in so, that yeah. time you can write some yeah, stuff, will, yeah, yeah. get that album out. And, we, are very, uh, we are very slow moving, we're like a, a slug on fucking downers, really. Yeah. yeah. Mugged on slug. Yeah, yeah. That's our but we, get there. we get there eventually. That's what well, matters. Doing lots more gigs and hopefully going to places that we haven't been to. Hopefully Japan at some point, yeah. which we still haven't yeah. managed to get to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very cool, yeah. It's kind but, of in the works for a while, but, you know, uh, yeah. life it's stuff the, kind of got the in the way. List. Yeah. Get over to the States again, because that's always fun. But just playing gigs and hanging out having fun enjoying yeah. the gigs enjoying people and eating vegan food we are very hard. in different so places we need to do this we die. yeah as long as Tony's eating plenty of food yeah. <laughs> plenty of vegan food yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything pretty much rolls around Tony's meal times, I think, pretty yes. much. And your your uh, toilet habits. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, okay. yeah. Which are linked. You need to go to the toilet, you need yeah, to have yeah. your vegan food, yeah. you're okay with whatever they're doing. I just wait around for them for him, <laughs> yeah. him to have a shit, to be honest. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's pretty much the band, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. we're changing that's, that's that from deviated works. instinct to deviated for food and shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's it. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank you guys very much. Well, thank you very much. Really yeah. enjoyed seeing you guys tonight and hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>